Hello guys welcome back to this YouTube video. Today I'll be reacting to some unpopular opinions related to K-pop and for this I am using the r slash unpopular K-pop opinions reddit thread. So let's get started. So the first unpopular opinion is by Sia Philosophy who said, stop expecting Jenny to cater to every fan. Well yeah of course this is true for every K-pop idol. Entertainment industry is a fan driven industry and ultimately everything that an artist puts up has to be approved by fans to some degree. But that doesn't mean that idols need to let go of the personality just to cater to fans. This post mostly talks about this HBO show The Idol, for which Jenny is getting criticized more and more by every episode. In my opinion the show can be problematic for several reasons, but it is no way made for kids, so it shouldn't be treated like one. Like most HBO shows this again has a lot of explicit scenes that may not be regular for K-pop fans, but that doesn't mean that Jenny is doing something wrong for being a part of such a show. It's okay for fans to not watch this show if it doesn't suit their taste, but it is high time we stop badgering idols for every decision they make. The next one is by definitely not a leak, who says collaborations with international artists are almost always disappointing. Well I'll have to agree with this opinion because I too have noticed this a lot. Earlier K-pop artists used to collaborate with international artists to increase their reach and get exposure to a global audience. But these days K-pop groups that are already popular in the West are only the ones doing these collaborations. This pretty much makes the collaborations pointless. And obviously, since these songs are collabs, groups use their B-tier music for this. I don't agree with every song mentioned in this post, because I actually like some of these songs but still I feel that most collaborations are the weakest of a group's discography. The next one is by user Winter Taeyeon who said I love it when they include backup dancers in sexy songs. Well I assume that this comment is related to the recent song, Bite Me by an hyphen. And I agree that the backup dancers in the chorus actually enhance the song, and contribute a lot to the vibe that they are trying to set. I know this can be seen as an unpopular opinion, because K-pop fans are generally opposed to the idea of backup dancers, especially of the opposite gender. But I like the backup dancers not just in Bite Me but also in songs like MMH by Kai, Gesina by Sunmi, Like Crazy by Jimin, etc. The next unpopular opinion is by Lunaverse who says G Idol's music feels incredibly heavy-handed and self-satisfied. I actually agree with a lot of the points they have mentioned in this post. I received a lot of criticism for saying that I didn't like Queen Card despite it being an empowering song towards women. Well in my opinion a song being empowering and having some positive messaging doesn't justify it being an obnoxious song. The poster has mentioned that the songs lack cleverness and are very literal, which I agree with. I like songs which have a hidden deeper meaning or are more metaphorical, because they also have listening value other than just appreciating the lyrics. I know that the girls are talented and write their own songs, but I wish that they did a better job in doing the same. The next one is by user introvert Neptune, who said it was bad for the group to debut by Bahi and Kepler. This is clearly an unpopular opinion, as you can see from all the comments, and I agree. I think debuting her was the best thing that happened to Kepler, because she has brought a lot of fans to the group. I agree with the description though, that had she not been Kai's sister maybe she wouldn't have made the lineup. I can't say if it was Mnet or the fans who wanted her there, but whatever the reason was she has contributed a lot to the group in terms of its marketing. I agree with the fact that if she hadn't been this popular she would have gone unnoticed. Because let's face it Kepler's music is not that good and is highly criticized, and on top of that Bahai rarely gets any screen time. So people stating that she is talented, are just saying that because she is popular. The next one is by Cupid is so dumb, who says new jeans isn't only popular because they are under hive labels. I don't agree with this and I'll tell you why. Okay firstly let's be clear the big three, or now big four privilege definitely exists. Any group that has debuted in HYBE after BTS, success has received the perks of being under HYBE. Of course once they debut, retaining this initial fame is on their shoulders. We cannot forget that new jeans debuted without a teaser or any prior information about the members. Had this happened in any other small company they would have gone unnoticed. Having said that, their refreshing Y2K concept, marketing and a lot of other factors also helped in making them go viral with their debut. Let's do one last one by Tay's Wife 08, who says K-pop fans should move on from controversial or problematic things that a K-pop idol has done if it happened at least 5 years ago. I am not 100% sure about my opinions on this, to be honest. But yeah in terms of bullying scandals it can be forgotten if the idol has apologized for it, because a lot of things happen in high school that people grow out of. It may not be that big of a deal that it should completely ruin an idol's career. 
However if the charges are more serious like in case of sexual assault, ragging or extreme cases of bullying, I think it is acceptable for them to be boycotted and due actions to be taken. However this should happen after careful examination and not just because of online forums and netizens. It is okay for fans to be critical of them and hold them accountable but not without proper cause or proof. But just because something happened 5 years ago doesn't make it null and void. So that was all for this video, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this type, do subscribe to the channel. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.